Hello everybody. Today I'm going to take a look at this IBM ThinkPad 760EL I got recently. So, this is a ThinkPad in nice shape for its age. I mean, it's only passive matrix, but even its passive matrix is plays in good shape. Besides, like, the rubber deterioration, I mean, even the battery hasn't leaked, but then again, it was a lithium-ion, so... Anyhow, here's what I'm here to talk about today. So, the ThinkPad 760 series seems to have a major, major issue. Now, basically, there's this, um, there's this palm rest assembly, and so this has a circuit board that basically controls all the keyboard stuff, it even controls this little display right here. And so what happens is, with this machine, basically you'll be using it and the keyboard won't work. Well, here's the reason for that. So, right over here, we've got this circuit board. This is the circuit board that goes right here. This is the bottom side of it. This is the top side. As you can see, there's a little bit of corrosion stuff and if we flip it over to here you can see some really really bad corrosion there's some really bad corrosion right here there's all this green stuff it's uh it's all the way in these pins uh, let me turn the flashlight on it's taking a lot of focus you can see there's some green stuff on the pins and that is corrosion. There's some corrosion on this board. This is the board that goes into the keyboard and track point and all. So this one isn't too much of a terminal case but what happens when it gets worse is it starts to leak down all the way to the keyboard pins. Now this is, a, this is not a terminal case because these pins look nice and clean and so does the connector and so does the keyboard ribbon so this is fine and the reason for that is is this Varda battery which is they, they're idiots and they taped it to like that stupid uh, they basically taped the battery and the speaker together because IBM and so right here we've got this Varda 3.6 nickel metal hydride NIMH and what happens is it leaks through the pins and as you can see from even even the corrosion here, it gets into the, the pins and the connector. And so it gets in over here, and then these pins get corroded too. You can barely see it, but there's a little bit of green stuff there. So what happens is this battery that's stored in one of these assemblies goes bad, and it leaks onto this board and it kills the keyboard. Now I've got another ThinkPad 700 series which has the same issue and I'm going to show you what happens when it gets really bad. So this right here is a ThinkPad 760 ED and as you can see it's in parts machine shape. It's, it's all beat up, it's, it's, it's nasty, the paint's really deteriorating um, the inner case looks fine, but there's a crack here. It's kind of filthy back here. The logo's all worn out. It's, uh, it's let's, let's push this back up. Keyboard though, it looks like it's in good cosmetic shape, but this is what happens when the keyboard problem gets terminal. So I'm gonna go to start. I'm gonna go to, uh, Accessories. Let's fire up WordPad because there's no Microsoft Office on here. Let's try to type something in. Okay. Let's try typing the quick ground fox. As you can see, half the keys don't work. The 
can see a lot of the keys don't work. They just don't work at all. Q types in P as well. Um, w types well, but this key doesn't work. Some of these keys don't work. They're going to a lot of different keys too. P doesn't work. L, K, all these keys don't work. G and F do, but not this key, this key, this key. A lot of these keys just aren't working. S, it's, it's typing weird stuff. C is typing slash. X works, C doesn't work, V, B, and these keys don't work. These keys don't work. So yeah, this, this laptop has a real bad case of that, and it's in this keyboard controller right down here in the palm rest. If you replace the whole assembly, you'll fix it. But yeah. This ThinkPad has a bad case of this, and due to this, it's a parts machine, especially because the case is in bad shape and all. Let's hit don't save. So yeah, here's another ThinkPad 700, or well, 760, that had this corrosion issue. If you have a ThinkPad 760, pull this battery now. That's all gamers, thanks for watching, and subscribe for more. So this is the keyboard assembly of the ThinkPad 760ED. This is what the keyboard assembly looks like, and first things first, this was the speaker I was going to replace the speaker over here with because the wires tore. And as we can see, there's it looks nasty. But even better is when we look at this connector, we can see it's a bit green from the corrosion. Let's turn the flashlight off and... Uh, it's a little bit green in here, but if we look over here, it's you can see it much more visibly. Of course, the camera doesn't focus that close. So let's look at the board again. So this side might be unrelated NICD leakage. So this leakage here might be unrelated because there was actually another NICD leak inside this laptop. And that leak was over... Uh, underneath the keyboard. It was, uh, you can see a little bit of it here. There was actually another NICD battery over there. And let's take a look at this assembly. So it's a good thing this has wobbled itself over here so we can take a look at the damage closely. So let's take a look at the bottom side. And on the bottom side, you know, this keyboard assembly is toast anyhow. Let, let's undo this connector at least. Now this is the main connector that goes to the uh, the assembly, and you can see here corrosion was showing up here. But get over here, and we can see that the corrosion really got bad. Let's uh, pull this out. Let's pull this ribbon connector out because it's obscuring our view here. this out and as you can see here corrosion was real bad and it, this is after cleaning mind you it got to the keyboard pins these keyboard pins have been eaten by that green corrosion that nasty green corrosion and it's it's not as bad if we move over to the other connectors over here, there's a bit of corrosion here too, actually. Might be from the NICD leak in the battery compartment, but we can see some blue pins over there. And when I cleaned this board off, it got a little bit better, but like, it was doing some other weird crap. Like, there were faint symbols in the LCD. We can see some liquid damage here, possibly from the leakage. As we can look around here, we get to see that there's corrosion. This just looks awful. We can see like flaked away PCB, um, J7. It looks nasty, nasty. 
these pins here, they look nasty. Um, not so bad on the other side of this, but you can see here there's still some residue of some sort. And it doesn't look like it was from me cleaning either. This just looks like it's junked. This board's junk. This whole keyboard assembly is junk. So yeah, this is why you always clean out the battery residue from the board when you replace the ThinkPad keyboard. And why you always disconnect that battery, because if you don't, you'll end up with a mess like this. So this is the board in 91% rubbing alcohol from Target. I like to get these uh, 32 fluid ounce bottles, but this board is currently sitting in 91% rubbing alcohol, and as you can see here, looks a lot better. Got a lot of the uh, gunk out of the uh, inner connector, which we're not going to be using anyway, but yeah, as you can see here, looks a lot cleaner over in this area. I What I did was I toothbrushed it, and then I'm now letting it sit in rubbing alcohol. I used vinegar to clean it. So, this 760EL should be good to go for a few more years, at least. So, there you have it. Just fixing a ThinkPad. 760 with some of this good old stuff.